what we have here as you can see is a periodic table of elements the right side for the most part and today I will show you an easy method of learning polyatomic ions necessary for general chemistry one we have a staircase here that separates the metals to the left from the non-metals to the right all the non-metals are to the right of the staircase and I have highlighted here the polyatomic ions that we will learn over here we have the first one we have boron carbon nitrogen silicon phosphorus sulfur chlorine arsenic selenium bromine tellurium and iodine first I will show you here the first thing to notice is that we have a T here this method is called the T41 or the T43 and we also look here and we make a 4 so we have a T and a 4 and you can make either a 1 here okay it's going to have chlorine chlorine and iodine or you can have a 3 it all depends on what's easier for you now the reason I put this letter and these numbers is because the polyatomic ions all have oxygen okay so let's go ahead and put all the oxygen three elements they all have oxygen now the oxygens in the th in the T part are all three the T contains all the elements contain or the polyatomic ions contain three oxygen okay the elements will go ahead and, and bind to oxygen and it's three of them three so the T is for three oxygen per polyatomic ion now the four is because these have four oxygen Okay, it'll be helpful if you also write this on your own table of elements. So all the four polyatomic ions have four oxygen. Okay, now these right here in the number three have three oxygens too. So it's three, three, three. So we have three oxygens, three oxygens, three oxygens, three oxygens, four, because of the four, that's why you remember it, and then three okay because of the three oxygens now the charges on these they're all ions because they have a charge okay the max charge will be negative three okay that's still actually the lowest charge will be negative three the highest will be one okay so in the three Okay, they have three, and they go from three to two to one, from lowest to highest, three to one. And then since this one, the silicone is right below carbon, and carbon has a negative two charge, it also has a negative two. So if you see the order, it goes three, two, one. And then if this was a whole block, it would be three, two, one, but since this is only the only polyatomic, it's two. So two. 3, 2, 1, 2. And then here, the number 4, it restarts. You got 3, 2, 
one. All these charges are negative. Okay, so the number four basically restarts it again. Over here too. You see it goes three, three, two, one. And then the same thing applies here for these two. Apply it before. You got two here, you got two here, three here, three here. It follows whatever is above it. Here, the tellurium has a negative two, just as the, as the selenium has. And also the iodine has a negative one, as bromine does on top. Okay, so these are all separate. You see T, 4, 1. So now we classify the charges in negative 3, 2, 1, negative 2, and then remember it starts again, they're all separate. 3, 2, 3, 2, 2, and these are all 1 charge. Okay, now the names of these polyatomic ions. If they have the regular amount of oxygen, Okay, which for the T is 3, for the 4 is 4, and for the 3 is 3, right? They'll, they'll all end in 8. So it's the, num it's, it's the name of the element, okay, with a suffix of 8. So this will be borate, carbonate, nitrate, silicate, phosphate, sulfate, chlorate, arsenic, selenium, bromate, tellurate, iodate. And there you have your polyatomic ions.